Hello there, welcome to our Chango video channel. In this video we will show you the B11 plug and play alarm system. This GSM PSTN system doesn't need a contract and doesn't have any monthly fees. It's a self-monitoring system which you can set up within a couple of minutes. The B11 kit contains the B11 panel, desk stand, B11 wall mount, AC adapter, PTSN cable, door window contact with double sided tape, two remote controls, two RFID tags, the peer motion detector with the peer motion bracket and its screw set, warning decals and its documentation. Then how does this alarm system work? When a sensor has been triggered, it will send a signal to the control panel. The control panel will sound the built-in siren immediately and call to all stored phone numbers. When an optional siren is installed, the panel will sound this siren as well. The sensors can be placed in different zones. There are four zones. The normal zone, home mode zone, single delay zone and the 24 hour zone. The included peer motion detector is by default set in the home zone and the magnet contact is in a default set in normal zone. Sensors in the normal zone will always be triggered and sound the alarm when armed. In the home mode zone, the sensor set in home mode will not be triggering the alarm when the control panel is armed. In this setting, you will be able to walk freely in your house while the doors and windows are still armed by a magnet contact, for instance. With the single delay zone, it's possible to set a certain extra delay time different from other sensors. This is normally used for a further away entrance. Then there is the 24 hour zone, in which the alarm will always be triggered no matter if it's in armed or disarmed state. This is commonly used with smoke, gas or water leakage detectors. In order to receive notifications, the B11 panel need to have a SIM card. Keep in mind to disable the standard passcode and disable voicemail. Also keep in mind a normal size SIM card is used. So when using a nano or micro SIM card, you will need an adapter to fit in the control panel. After placing the SIM card, connect the AC adapter and put the control panel on. You will see the network indicator flashing. If it flashes fast, once per second, it's searching for network. If flashing slow, the network has been found and is ready to use. The LCD display will keep on showing the text GPRS connecting. To connect the panel with GPRS, we need to set the APN first. Send a text message with APN to the SIM card telephone number and you will receive back the format in which we need to fill in the APN settings of your provider. Now we move on to the peer motion detector. Pull the strap out of the motion detector. It will start testing for about 30 seconds. When the detector sees movement twice, within three minutes the detector goes into sleeping mode in order to save power. This means it will not be triggered and will not send a signal to the control panel. Installation height is best at 2.2 meters. This will give a range of 8 meters at 110 degrees wide. The B11 alarm system can be controlled by the free app. Free app is available in App Store and Google Play. To control the B11 alarm system by app, you have two options. Or you use the SMS function, which shows you the following options. Disarm, stay, arm, voice memo and monitor. Or by GPRS. In GPRS you have the same options. However, you first have to register your device. The device ID and random code you will find on the backside of your B11 panel. With this B11 alarm system, all settings need to be done in the menu of the control panel itself. In the app, we have the options to arm, disarm, home arm, monitor and leave a voice memo. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to follow our channel for upcoming videos. For more information, go to www.chango.com.